Well, Foursquare is really a, the location layer of the internet. And so this round, led by Simon Ventures, which is an arm of Simon Property right. Group, Naver Corp, and Union Square Ventures, is really going to give us the fuel to continue investing. If you think about the location features on your phone, most of the time they're powered by Foursquare technology. If you get a Snapchat geofilter, if you type a place into Uber, uh, if you get matched on Tinder to people who like the same places, those are all examples of Foursquare technology at work. And with this round of financing, we're going to take that into the retail world, into the dining world, and into the general media publishing world to bring location technology to bear. What does that mean exactly in terms of uh, what kind of development you're going to go spend this money, I assume, to develop what? Well, you have, you have to understand today, Foursquare helps media companies and brands and apps create location features. And so, uh, as I said, the, the examples uh, of our customers are like Apple and Microsoft and Tencent and the like. 90% of commerce still happens in the real world for all the attention on Amazon and what Jeff Bezos said, Amazon's 4% of consumer spending. So over 90% takes place in the, in the real world, groceries, auto, retail. And so we want to help those companies Right. prepare to take on the Amazons of the world, and that's what we're doing. So we help marketers reach people based on where they go in the real world, measure whether it leads people into stores. We help apps be contextually aware so that you walk into a store, right. if there's an offer, you're aware. And, and that's the like kind the of thing we're targeted advertising I get online and making it applicable to 90% of retail sales that are happening exactly. in other places. Exactly. Do you worry at all about privacy because Washington is looking at this so closely now? Yeah, absolutely. We started as a consumer app, and so we think about privacy and enhancing consumer experiences and everything we do. So 100% of what we do is consumer right. opt-in. And so, for instance, a lot of the apps that use us, they say, would you like to opt in to background location to be, to be alerted when you're near a service or an offer, a special offer? But what About you, 60 or 70% of people uh, choose to participate and about 30 or 40% with don't. with that information? Does that mean you're sharing it with all your clients? No, you know, everything we do is anonymized or aggregated. So, for instance, uh, the data goes into a panel of over 25 million phones that we see always on, and that creates a kind of Nielsen panel of the real world foot traffic. And so we were able to, for instance, predict that Chipotle sales famously were going to be down 30% before they announced their earnings. Ah. At an aggregate level, no one's worried about privacy. 30% fewer people are going into Chipotle. Long, long term, though, um, and I was talking about screen time in the 6 o'clock hour, how screen time has changed the way I use the phone, because I now have a very clear display of what's actually going on with my phone. Right. And I'm now limiting the amount of social media I'm using as a function right. of it. I'm assuming over time, Apple and others are going to develop more and more features so it becomes even more and more transparent to me once I've opted in the first time, right. actually had to quickly opt out, because that becomes harder, frankly, over time. Agree. And yep. so my question to you is long term, is, is there a threat to your business that people, once it, this system becomes more transparent, that people actually click off the location features uh, for, some, for some of the uh, apps. By the way, right. like, it's very hard to use Uber without the location feature on, but there, are other, but there are other apps where maybe I'd be less inclined to keep it on. Well, and you need, it, you need it to be on in certain cases for the whole thing to work. Well, th this is why I think Foursquare is so advantaged in this process, because everything we do is designed to create value for the users. We're not helping some flashlight app ask you for your always on location. What, what good is that to you? We're helping pair people in dating based on their favorite places. We're helping do contextually aware weather alerts for AccuWeather. Hey, you're at the stadium. Rain is about to happen. All the cases where we make the experiences better, the users opt in because it makes the experience better. And in fact, in a world where you don't want to open a lot of apps, you want the app to tap you on the shoulder at the right time to remind you that you have a chance to get 50% off, or there's a weather alert, or you're near a friend. All these things are really valuable. Apple already reminds people that you're opted into location sharing. It's actually uh, the part of the ad tech ecosystem that is doing shoddy things that we don't think are best practice in privacy that I think will be heard over time, because why should a location uh, be on for your flashlight app? Strategically, right? um, at some point, yeah. you're going to have to exit for your investors. Maybe that's an IPO. Maybe that's a sale to another company. You sort of set yourself up as Switzerland, however, yes. which is to say that it would seem to me very challenging to actually sell to one of the big fang companies. Meaning if you sold to Amazon, all of a sudden everybody else wouldn't want to do business with you. If you sold to Apple, other people wouldn't want to play with you. It becomes much more, com it's actually a much more complicated problem than a lot of other companies have. Now you could say that's a virtue in many ways as well. And maybe ultimately that means you need to go public. This is a company we all thought was going to go public years ago. 
So how do you think about that? Well, I, th I think you're right on. We are the independent Switzerland. If you think about Facebook and Google, there's only three companies in the world that, that can understand when a phone in your pocket moves out of 100 million businesses in over 170 countries. That's Google, Facebook, and Foursquare. And we are the independent option. So our customers, which include folks like Apple and Microsoft and Tencent and Twitter and Snapchat and on and on, they look to us as an independent company. Those, you know, Facebook and Google are not your friends. They're unreliable partners. They're after domination. We are the Switzerland. And yes, I do think the location space needs a public independent company at some point that has the wherewithal to invest right. so in I pushing feel. location technology.